Hi, hi! I like to share you my project and um, I use Graphic 45 um, Nature Sketchbook and I, um, I wanted to do a little project that's easy to make and uh, small and nice for a gift. So um, this, this thing I made long time ago. It, I believe it's one of my first things I ever made, crafting. And so I made this two, three years ago, but that was before my filming time. So um, I was thinking of doing something, uh, like I said, something small as a nice gift. So um, let me show you a round of this one. It's made of an 8x8 paper pad perfect fit of this project so this is the front I used the front page of the paper pad from nature sketchbook and this is the side I used some silver bread in and I off frame sorry about that just the bread so just a decorative touch and the back I used these little bees so like the paper and on this side the same, the same with the silver boards. And yeah, it's really, um, yeah, small, but not too small. And it's closed with a seam binding ribbon. So let's go inside. Now you open it up like this. And then we have... Um, let me first go to the left page. The left page, I leave it plain, but I did use some decoration. Um, this is uh, always all, uh, this is glued down, so it's a little tuck spot for any photo behind it. You can place it or just leave the card in, but you can leave the card anywhere else. You can. <laughs> and this, I also did some decoration. It's um, I thought it would be nice because this one is going to be flat otherwise you can't close it and then we go to the other side this flap um, I made three pockets and these pockets are suitable for also for um, how you call this uh, visit visit cards or your pass um, of a shop or your bank account pass or your driver's license pass but th th these are the same size <coughs> so I used um, some black cardstock and on the back I did a little uh, white I call this yeah that's not journaling but a little decoration and I used the um, little cut parts from the collection and so we placed the cards in really simple nice to use now on the top of this page i make a large pocket where are two tags in and i really love these cards they are from the card collection so and this also this is from the cut apart from the sheet on the back i'll leave it blue then we go first to the left side and in here I made a large pocket with a booklet and a little uh, pocket inside with just three little tags in so you can wide on but here you also can journal on and then this closes love it and on the right side I made a tuck spot above so if you open this up it really matches the two of them I think <laughs> but you can leave a nice photo behind it so or later on you can journal on this card and put it under there so this closes with a magnetic then we go to this side and on here we I leave it plain so you can leave a nice photo on if you like or smaller photos whatever you like and in here we have a large pocket I made a little tag of the Creolis designs Creolis die really like this image oh, I forgot to put some paper on the back I can but 
you also can write in white and in here I made a, a large journaling um, note, note a little notebook with 12 pages in and I can stamp um, I think I it's nice to put some little butterfly stamp but I have to search some but um, yeah I think it's, it's it's a lovely thing so you can so the, the the girl or guy who gets this can write in or put photos in and it's it's, it's not too thick already but I just had to stop because if this is closed you need some room to put your photos in and this will be get thicker if you are going to widen but so it's it's basically one page it's one page in as you can see it's, it's just one page actually that's in in this album and one page for the cover so yeah I hope you like it and let's make one together if you like um, yeah this is close like this and close like a seam binding so I had to make it one first so uh, it was a tryout so yeah I hope you like it and let's give it a go together thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you like it let's make it together bye bye okay let's start with this really quick thing um how you call this one i don't know sort of a trifold file no, it's not a file folder but i will give it a name soon um what i did was i grabbed a4 and that's i mentioned before mine a4 in the europe is 29 and a half by 20 and a half centimeters and in inches it's 8 1 of an 8 inch by 11 5 of an 8 11 5 of an 8 so um yeah just grab one or make one but um, if you were uh, using an 8x8 paper pad like I did with the nature sketchbook then we just have to cut this paper at 818 and, and so the bottom one is the regular one but I cut it just a slightly smaller hope you can see just slightly so we so the paper of an 8 by 8 paper pad is the perfect match so I cut it at 8 1 of an 8 inch and it's just a slightly smaller this small edge I cut off and so that's the perfect match for my paper for my 8 by 8 okay that's the first step I do but you can leave it if you are using bigger um, um, bigger papers okay so the scoring part is score at um, at 4 then at 4.5 and 8.5 and, and, and by 9 Oh, and for I forgot, um, if there are people and there are in centimeters, you can cut this at 20.7. But you can use any size you like, of course. So, for the scoring part, let's score it at 4 and 4.5 and, and score it at 8.5. And at nine. There we go. That's all. Now fold it. And I use for the cover a little bigger heavy cardstock. Um, so it so the cover will be 
a little more sturdy. But that is an option. You can also use regular cardstock, whatever you have. Try to find a little thicker than, um, than you normally use. But if you are using 160 or 210 or 190 grams, it's perfect. But I use a little firmer. I believe this is 250 grams for the outside. So yeah, this is it. This is the base. So we have the flap with the little uh, tags in and this is the left so this is it pretty simple okay yeah let's go to the next step oh and for i forgot i also like to mention that okay this is a pretty nice size for if you are using an 8x8 paper pad but if you are having 6x6 paper pads, then you can do the same thing, of course. You can do pretty much do the same thing, but then you have to score your paper at 6 1 of an 8. 6 1 of an 8. And then it's a perfect match for a 6x6 paper pad. So, yeah. Like, 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 like. So why don't we do that at the same time using a 6x6. Six six. So then you have to cut this at 6 1 of an 8. And score exact the same. 4. Four and a half. And I don't know if I am in frame today. And then at eight and a half and nine again. Okay, that's it. And again, fold it. So you can make it in any size you like. And I really think this is also a very nice uh, project to use your scraps. Um, we all have uh, pretty much have some papers left over uh, from our project. And why not making little gifts for it? So yeah, I think... These both sides are really nice. So an 8x8 and a 6x6 paper pad is perfect for this. But of course, if you are having 12x12 paper uh, left over, you can use any size you like, of course. It's an, just an option. Okay, let's okay. continue. Yeah. Let's see. Um, okay, I really promise that I will make two of these. But first we are going to make the 8x8. Otherwise, you are really are uh, confused. So, let's go in. And, um, or we just can do the outside. I think I did first the outside because it's easier. Yeah. So, yeah. We do first outside. Yes, we do. So, the first thing I like to do is uh, measure the middle of this so I can put my seam binding on. So I really like the, that closure. For this it gives an extra vintage look. So, put some tape. On the middle. And same here, that's... Okay, now, um, for this one, I don't use Graphic 45, because I already did that. 
and I want to use three of my very favorite ones. So I did use the Graphic 45 and on this one I like to use Prima Marketing. I really like this one. Um, this one is called Time Traveler's Memories and I had an A4 paper pad that I want to continue using. So we decide which color fits with the outside. Um, so I will have a look in my stash for this one. And I think I already found it. I really like this um, wine wet one. Yeah, matches. Yep, 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 yep. I am going up. I'm going to use this one. Um, before I am gluing it down, I want to crinkle it. So a little water and a little rubbing that will crinkle it a lot. And I just like that. So let's see, let's do first this one off. And I really like using double seam binding. So the bow is a lot thicker than normally. Double. There we go. Oh, why? Um, oh, 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 so, 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 I made a big mistake. What mistake did I did? I tell you. <laughs> I tell you. The seam binding have to end on this side, of course, not on that side. Dum, 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 dum. And I had this on, on, on a piece of paper, right on. <laughs> so this one is on this side, but we want to end this on this side. Yeah. On this side. Yes, because the closure is going to be on here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now, find your paper for the outside first. So let's do that. Let's search some nice paper. Okay, I chose this paper. I really like this image. And for the back, I used the black. And the other way around, I used the other side of this page. So it really match. And I really has have an addicted to to stripes, so I use the stripes uh, for here. Now, first I like to use some brads, and for these I like to use some bronze ones. So let's make some little holes, and this is. Pure optional, of course. Just 
eyeball it where I like them. And like I said, this is a really, really, really an option. It's pure decorative. It's no function at all as only to be beautiful. <laughs> Close these, but make sure that the pins are on the long side of the um, background. I hope I make sense. Oh, my ribbon is getting everything with it. So. There we go. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I like it. It's just an extra decorative touch. And I like it. Okay. Okay, dokey. Let's put this away. And um, you can, you can now put, because I really like to use the same stripes as on the front. I really like stripes. Why I do like stripes? I don't know. I really don't know. I just do. So let's put the stripe on here. I already cut out. Don't get lost. So there we go. Now the other one. Always like to distress my paper. Touch. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. The next tip, like as, as you see, oh, I could not resist making a little tag of this one. And, um, oh my gosh, my fingers are really going to wash them first. Um, I thought it would be a nice thing to do on top, but I'm not sure. It's, it's just an option. It's just an option. So I will decide later on if I will do that, but I really like it. It's a Creolis dye. This one and the tag is also from Creolis. I really, 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 really like how it turns out. Like it. Yeah. Okay, let's put this away, not forgetting it. And let's first wash my hands. Yes. Let's play a little and see if I can make a nice pocket. Mm. Let's make three fold lines. I will make 
one more at the top. make a small pocket for my still the good size and I just want to play a little but I hope I manage so first cut easy to see but we can manage we'd like to see a nice little window there we go so let's where is it here it is Give it a nice Easy. And now at the top, this one, I also like to fold it in like this. So your tag is not going in the way of um, like this. <laughs> I hope I make myself clear. And then this. There will be nice lines on. There isn't. So I think I will cut something like this out.
don't want to make a pocket on top then just skip this part okay now now we have to cut this window out Again, perhaps it's nice if I use this one. Let's give it a go. This is the piece I just cut out. So I am going to see if this works. <laughs> Give it a go. on flowering on the top yeah like that or a nice button that's also the same so that's I like this one the button the flare buttons like 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 okay now first we are going to attach this one the frame and the front of the camera. I'm so sorry. Okay. Let's glue this on. I hope I really 
don't mess it up. Let's give me some space. just an extra touch and I really like the see through otherwise so you can see the whole tag yeah love 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 us and then this on the bottom um, yeah let's use this one This dries really quick. dry for a bit. I just love it. <laughs> yep, like it. But as I was telling you, it's an option. If you don't like this pocket on top, then skip, 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 skip this part. Now, let's go inside. Yes. Okay. Ooh, it's a little cold out here but um let's go to the inside of this one and i think we are going to first place the page in and then go to the pockets i think we do so move this away so let's grab a piece of paper just one a4 and we are going to measure the exact same size, well, just a millimeter off is probably better. Oh my gosh. Um, like this. Yeah. Okay. Now. We are going to make a fold line, a flippity flop. Alrighty, let's make a flippity flop. And because we are going to make a notebook in it, we make one of an eight inch extra gossip. There we go. We fold this fold it there we go and now the other one that's a little tricky but we can do it Alrighty, so now we have the nice extra fold line here. Okay, the next time thing we do is line it up 
and you want to line it up with um, the fold line up so you can see or otherwise you make it flat so you will can measure it better so we stay one millimeter away from the uh, fold line and then we stay again one millimeter away from this fold line I hope I make sense so let's measure this one this is for me 9.7 centimeters or 3 3, 7 of an 8 so we make another fold line yes we are yo, yo, yo. just line it up line 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 it up and make another fold line okay there we go and this one don't need oh this has to be this way and then we just fold this back and make a little mark at the end of this fold line so we can see better this fold line yep and make a fold line again Go. And give it a fold. So this is oh this goes like this. So what we have is the hinge with the extra gusset. Yeah. Then this flips to the right, and this is going to be a pocket. Okay, let's give it a quick look. Hope you understand it. Oh. So, this page is sitting here. This is the pocket. Then this flips to the right, like this does. Yeah, then closes back on for the pocket. And then this opens up. Then we have this one. Yeah, this, this, is, this is the whole page. Oh yeah, so, okay, so we can glue it in, but I like to make my pocket first, slide this open, it's easier, this I don't feel like it's, I think this is too wide, so, um, I like it to be a little smaller. Yeah. So what I did is I make it smaller. Mm, I don't know how much I did. Let's give it an extra check. Yeah. Seven. I cut this at seven. about that's about this centimeter off and then I used a want to use the same yeah I want to use the same yep 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 oh, let's make one here is 
it. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah, we can glue it in and do the rest later. See you later, elevator. But I think I like to do this first. Um, so what I do is I grab a piece of paper that will come underneath here. Let's grab this one. I like this one. And cut it. page we don't need to use any magnets so that's handy okay, let's glue this in the page okay and now I like to close it because I like to close the pocket and I think I will like, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, where are my little ones? I really like this one. And this one I want to make it fit on here. So I can make a, a um, a smaller one. So what I will do is I grab my ATG gun, put first the top and then I can decide how large this card goes and then I make another score line. So this will stay put. I make sense to you. So actually we are going to make a little um, a little pocket and then something wider, larger one because I want to make this card in here fitting. So that's the reason why I managed this. So I did not normally I will do the middle but for this particular little one I just do it. Okay, now I will choose the paper later on and this I can already put some paper. You can leave it like this, but now you can see um, when this paper come out, they did not put any um, design paper on the back. Now these days, they do it. They they did um, put it on equal uh, sizes. Let's see. I think I like this too. Oh. Yep. Oh, this is also a little off. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, so, yeah. This will fit in here. Yes, it does. 
but the glue is not dry yet but will be in a minute okay I think now it's time to put this on the back of our page and then we continue so let's grab some tape this is really getting in the way <laughs> let's put it there So, stay away a millimeter from the edge and then go all the way up and stay away from this edge too. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Are yours in too already? I hope it does. Okay, so this is it. Folds and folds. Okay. Yep. Up to the next step. I think the next step is easier for you to make a pocket for the notebook. So, um, let's go have a piece of paper. And I like this one coming almost or just to the middle just eyeball it or you can measure them about the middle um did I, yeah because we are going to need a hinge extra for this one but first we make a one fold and we do again on this one the one of an eight inch extra yeah now I like to do this the same thing on the bottom so line it up fold it and then one of an eighth inch okay that's one then I am going to cut this one off yep okay leave this for a minute now we are going to measure we are going to measure um, easiest way to do it is to fold this and this and we do the one of the eight gusset later first one to measure so stay away for one two millimeters we want to make sure that this is not getting in the way so it's better to leave two millimeters than one okay now we have the right size so let's make another fold line and we now we do it backwards we now do first the one of an eight gusset and now we can cut this we can cut this at one of, of no at a half inch okay so now again we can cut this angle off Alrighty, this can be a little neater. Okay, now, now fold all your fold lines.
this one is a little tricky, 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 tricky. There we go. Alrighty, so bend it and bend it and bend this too, and then we can use some tape. On the flaps there we go now the first thing I like to do is I bend this on the perfect angle and I hold it and let the tape do the rest and this one too hope I have done it a little straight yeah there we go and now we can glue it in And I hope you see what I forgot. Tell me. I hear you thinking you forgot the Martha Stewart edge. Yes, I did. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. So if you have the time, if you not place your tape already on, then this is the time to use your edge die if you like. I forgot, so this one is not going to have an edge. So so okay. Um, the next step is use some magnets on top of these. Oh. I have an eyelet lifting with me. So, on top, I like to have a magnet. Alrighty, so this will close and here I'll just wait because, um, well yeah, we can do that now, because this needs some decoration um, and at this point um, I want to make a pocket too, but not a thick one, a small one, let's see, this, no, this is the leftover, let's grab this one. Um, how high I want this one not, not too high but not too I think 7 or 8 centimeters will do I think I will make an 8 and then I will use my Martha Stewart in a minute don't forget, don't forget nope, 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 and this time I won't I won't I hope. <laughs> I hope. Just make one flippity flop. And let's measure. And this one may be all the way down to the edge. That's nicer. And then make a mark at one or two millimeters on this side. And we make a flippity flop again. Alrighty. Just cut this okay 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 now before we go further yep I don't forget you no I don't um, Let's 
see. I think I need one more. Let's I think I will turn this. No. Well, it just have to be. It has to be all the way. No big of a deal. Nope. It isn't. Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like this. Make a new one. <laughs> Cut it at eight. And I just do make another one. I just make another one. I don't like it. I don't like that it flips around. Nope. I just don't. 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 So place it on the edge. Make one, two millimeters away. And oh, thank you, Julie, for the tip using a white pencil on black. Julie, 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 you give this easy going tip. Why I don't think of that myself. Okay. Okay. But I still like to do something, but let's grab. Um, I think I will use a die. Okay, 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 okay. I just use. Um, you remember the the um, this this tag I used? Well, I have the large set also, and um, this is C N L E L T zero six, and I just use the larger one for this tag. This uh, insert. Um, So I did my paper, but oh guys, you can you can use um, you can use anything. You can use even um, something like this for uh, a nice cut or a round one or any kind of thing. Or you just leave it plain. Any choice of you is perfect. So let's first do this one in before I. Forget using my magnet. And the fun part is yet to come. The design paper. It's so much fun. Well, this also, but. I just love to match the papers. Okay, so here is the pocket. We want it. And now we are going to use two magnets on this. And I know there is another magnet, but we don't want to attach them on the same spot. So what I do is place it here, close, open, and yeah, there it goes. So we have a pocket, a small pocket, and closes up, pocket, and then this opens up, big pocket, and yeah, we need these, and then we can decorate, yeah. like, 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 okay, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 